So the first thing I do is well, our content pack for the Cottesloe research will go through and research a suburb, and we give you about six or eight page, six to eight pages of content, um, you know, some history, some facts, and then you go and improve it. Um, you know, take go send a photographer that you know. We have some great deals with Property Digital uh, here in Perth uh, and some other photographers around. But uh, you know, get a photographer to spend a few hours taking lots of shots of uh, the area that you work, and if you get fifty or hundred shots well that's that's a year's worth of posting on a news story on your blog every two days just a nice photo of the area uh, and it's set and forget once you understand how to preload the system you could set three months at a time kind of like planning out your DL flyer drops but don't waste any more money on paper it's a complete waste of time in uh, when you have online it's free flexible fast and now um, you can embed videos I mean I haven't seen any flyers with any videos on it yet so um, uh, you know there's one big benefit um, so we, we a nice easy YouTube video embedding tool into the system um, takes about two seconds to do this uh, it's always good to upload from YouTube or Vimeo and that is because it'll save on bandwidth their video servers are much better than what anybody else can provide worldwide so um, look it's it's really cool to be able to add so many dynamic features to your site with a few clicks of the mouse um, so here we've got lots more tips about uh, all the facts and so on. So the first thing you do is you, you flick through and you basically want to replicate the information here with your own personal touch about the suburb you work in. It's not hard. Go out there, spend a day. You'll have enough content to last you two years if you just focus for stop for one day, forget real estate, and think about what the consumers in your area do, watch, think, and see, smell, and visit, and that will give you enough content to last you a year. Um, so talk about the schools. Start liaising with the schools. Get the school news letter grab the you know every week get a VA to contact uh, the schools and send the latest sporting updates we can have that in the tab at the front you can update the sports on your um, little tab here maybe have the footing tips you know the footy score put a little weather widget in there everything is drag and drop I wish I could have bought this system five years ago when I built uh, Easy First Sale. So it would have saved me a lot of time, a lot of money. Uh, so th be thankful that I've I've uh, made enough mistakes to figure out how to do it right. And here it is. This is just easy to use, fun, and awesome. So you're going to get a page like this, and you're just going to have to drop in some pictures. So we'll get to that in the next minute, and I'll show you how that happens. Again, you know, take some photos of beach. We've got a nice gallery plugin showcases the photos really really well uh, flick through it looks sleek and professional the theme can change very easy if you want black background everything's so customizable you can make it look like your agencies if you specialize in horses or rural or golfing properties man you can go insane and have it look exactly like you want Again, here is some golfing clubs. So this is this is Cottesloe, our our base text. Um, then we've got the sales page, and here's where you can have the coolest graphs that are available anywhere. I don't think you can have uh, the neatest looking graphs on your site, and it only takes a few minutes to update these graphs and have new figures. And we give you that uh, the facility with an Excel file to pull out the data from your local real or real estate industry provider, plug the numbers in, and you'll have beautiful graphs like this in two minutes flat. Also, just quickly download some sales information from your a local provider and showcase all the sales for a period. So here's Cottesloe for the whole of 2011. Now we know from all our campaigns and email campaigns that all our clients do that people love sales information and when it's free it's even better. That's is the only place they'll come. They'll keep coming back. They'll keep seeing your ads. You'll keep getting more visitors and all your people that are advertising on your site will pay you dollars to do that because you have a big marketplace a big database probably most agents have about a thousand if you don't 
what are you doing? Get more emails. If you don't have an email, you're a bloody idiot. You cannot not have email addresses. Um, so that's the sales page. We've got more graphs available, but um, all that's in, in provided in the instructions on how to use the system. Uh, you know, here's a form, a quick form. What's my home worth page? Send people here. There's no widgets on the side. That's for a reason. If you put widgets here, then they forget to read the text. They forget to fill out the form, and they don't get give you their email address. So we remove all the widgets and distractions from these pages in order for them to just do their job and sell your service. So don't add anything on these pages. That was a bad thing. We've got the properties section which has got some really nice sort of style and look. Uh, cool, this can be different colors. We'll explain the detail of changing how to change the theme of it in a few minutes. You can go from red to green to blue to purple. It doesn't matter. Um, so here's a nice little featured widget. Flicks through the last listings that you pop on there. Uh, here is the list of properties for sale. We keep it simple. It's much more important to keep your blog a blog and don't make it a searching property searching site because most people aren't going to come to your site for the property but they're going to find your site through the property and hopefully stay and sell their house with you in the long term because um, if you only got four or five properties yes you will send to your database and yes you will have more people through your open for inspections uh, but don't make that the primary goal of your site because that you'll miss the purpose um, <clears throat> So the the layout's nice and clean, uh, nice and simple, clear, easy to read, simple and easy. Uh, we also chuck some tips in there, so this pulls in from the database, so if you create some frequently asked questions, this will randomly pop up a frequently asked question to get them to dig deeper in the site and find out that, shit, you, do you really know a lot about real estate and how much you can help. Again, a nice photo gallery, really easy to look at, really cute. Um, got the nice little Google map that people can pan around in and uh, see where the property is located for geolocation. Um, and about the author box, so every time they come and visit the listing they, they can read about your service. So make sure you spend a bit of time and write a nice little paragraph to fill in your author box a photo of yourself so again branding yourself so people start to reinforce okay Merv's been selling houses in Colosso he's doing great I don't do that I don't sell houses but anyway you get the picture uh, they can leave a comment um, uh, very quickly just pop their name in and we'll, we'll leave one now so we can get to that in a second uh, so let's go with uh, Marcus and and the Websites are very important. You should start to comment on blogs because this is how you're going to drive traffic to your own. So always put a if, comment on blogs that allow you to put your website in, uh, and always try and contribute to the conversation instead of uh, coming up with something else. So I'll put uh, realestateconnected.com.au. This now creates a backlink. Um, uh, great property can. I take a look tomorrow and people do this all the time on all our sites so these systems work they work great and they're a lot of fun so now that person's posted it if they got a gravatar it'll appear there as will yours on the commenting uh, when you reply uh, great property to take a look you can reply when you're logged in we'll go through that in a minute um, and so on so that's the property section the frequently asked questions section this is where you put down your knowledge because people type in what is a 40 out of clause what is a set date sell how do I auction my house and this is where you would fill this out and what this does anything that appears here so if you have 50 in here the system will populate them here at random so the fact will always be different always have something of interest for people um, and just a great system really simple to use same with the success stories this is again just a database of people so just put in the success stories which we'll show you how to do in a minute and every time that happens there the success story will be populated here at random of, out of your database so the more you have the better and people are always going to have something different to look at and Google will know that this site is always changing uh, and send you more visitors. Then you've got the about pages. These are just static pages. Put your photo in there. Uh, put it about your company. Could just have one page. Could have five pages. Up to you. You're better off starting off small and growing. 
Uh, so here we go, it's a, a real estate page again about the company and uh, that is the overview of the front end of your web, our web connected system. Um, so I'm going to dive in the back end but I'm going to take a break and I will be back in a moment.